Hi viewers, welcome to the third section of the course, the model ACA. In this section, we will begin with actor model in a nutshell, and later on, we will learn more about working with actor. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with actor model in a nutshell. In this video, we're going to take a look at actor model in a nutshell. Post that, we will learn about actor life cycle and communication. The actor model is a mathematical model. As Obi-Wan would say, it's an elegant weapon for a more civilized age. The actor model was developed by Carl Hewitt, Peter Bishop, and Richard Steiger in 1973 at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in a paper entitled A Universal Modular Actor Formalism for Artificial Intelligence. Well, if the actor model has been around for more than 40 years, at what point did we turn to the dark side? The quick answer is because they developed a very advanced model for the technology of those days. The problem is that we had to develop a lot of technology in software and hardware to reap the benefits from the actor model. We needed modern compilers, modern processors, and modern memory. Between 1980 and 2003, everything was fine during the Dark Ages without the need for functional programming. This was until two concepts became mainstream, parallelism and concurrency. In 2003, there was a renaissance of functional programming with the launch of Scalar 2003, F-Sharp 2005, Clojure 2007, and Elixir 2012. As you can guess, all that was made with the actor model, published in 1973. The actor model can be declared as the winning approach for concurrency. The actor model is at a much higher abstraction level than threads. Programming threads gets into low-level problems such as locks, semaphores, and shared data. To be competitive in today's actor model, a library must have these three characteristics. Fault tolerant. The let it crash paradigm has demonstrated its supremacy. Lightweight. The hardware must be in full use in an efficient way. Distributed. It spans between different servers with transparency. The development velocity with the actor model is so much higher and safer than the threading approach. To learn more about fault tolerant systems, it is recommended you visit the ACA developers blog at letitcrash.com. The actor model in a nutshell. Here we have a comparison between the actor model and traditional OOP. We highlight Lightbends, which is the company behind Scalar, which is recommended for newcomers. Think of actors as people. Think of your actor model as a company. Think of your actor's siblings as the people in the same hierarchical level as the employee. Think of your actor's children as an employee's subordinates. An actor has one and only one supervisor. The success of the actor model is delegation. Especially with blocking tasks, delegation to subordinates is fundamental. The ACA implementation of the actor model has these peculiarities. When we create an actor, ACA gives us the action ref, so you can know its state. Then, actors run in real Java threads, and some actors can share the same thread. There are three mailbox types, unbounded, bounded, and priority. Actors can scan their mailboxes looking for specific messages. There is a dead letter mailbox with the messages of all terminated actors. Now in Java, we must throw an exception and handle it with a lot of combinations and scenarios. As a supervisor in the let it crash approach, we have four options. We can resume the actor so the internal state is retained, or we can restart the actor so the internal state is cleared, terminate the actor, send a message with the failure, escalating the problem. Let's learn about the actors. Here we begin with Carter 21. For an example, let's model a drone, an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV. Of course, this is our first actor. We just model the basic functionality, so don't expect this code to build a full drone, as it is only for illustrative purposes. Here we will be using TypeSave Activator 1.3.12. You can run this program through Terminal or SBT. In the terminal, type Activator UI to open TypeSave Activators in the browser. 
it will take a while to load all the files, so wait. This is the light bend activator. We already have created the project named as Hello Acker Template. Now open it. All the scalar files are placed in Scalar folder under Main and Source folder. Here we will see Drone Actor .scalar file. This is the code we need to build our first actor. The program is explained line by line. For using Acker actors, we need to import some Acker.actor members. We define the drone actor of type actor. All the actor behaviors are defined under the receive method. We don't use switch case statements as match expressions compare with the first line. If the pattern is not matched, it compares with the second line and so on. Never forget to put the default case at the end of all known cases. This is always for security and should be the last line in the match expression. If the message is not matched, an unhandled message exception is thrown in the actor system. The main object is created to test our new toy and the model, of course. Actor system receives a name as an argument. Alphanumeric characters and hyphens are allowed, but not in the leading car. Then we invoke the actor of method in the actor system to create our actor. As you will see later, actors can be created inside other actors. Actors start asynchronously when created. To send messages to an actor, we use the exclamation operator. The actor does its stuff like send the messages. After that, the actor system shuts down using shutdown button. Let's run this app. Go to run and select the main file as main and click on run. Superb! This is the output of this app. Let's move to the actor system. An actor system is a group of actors. It has these characteristics. It is hierarchical. Every actor always has an actor supervisor. An actor could have siblings and children. As in an office, the actors under the same actor system share dispatchers, deployments, and addresses. The actor system is the central point where the actors are created and looked for. As you may guess, the actor system internally is a thread controller. The actor system decides when to allocate threads for an application. If the actor system is not shut down with the system.shutdown line, the application doesn't terminate. While the actor system is running, the app is running. Our next topic is actor reference. The actor reference has these characteristics. As we can see in the code, the actor of method in the actor system has two tasks. It starts the actor asynchronously and returns an actor reference. The actor ref is a handle, so we cannot break the actor system. The actor ref is an actor's facade, so we cannot manipulate the actor instance directly or alter its variables. The actor ref is a way to communicate with the actor. It's a way to place messages in its mailbox. The actor ref is immutable, so we cannot change it. It is only a reference. One actor has only one actor ref. One actor ref refers to only one actor. It is a one-to-one -one relationship. To complain about the actor model, an actor ref is serializable and is server independent, so we can share, pass, and transmit an actor ref through the network. That's all for Carter 21. Now we will move on to Carter 22, actor communication. Let's take this example. We are building an actor based communication application. This is the file we need to create. For sending messages to an actor, we're using this syntax that will be exclamation operator. As we explained before, note that the exclamation operator only works in actor references, not in actor instances. We are using these lines of code to create an actor-based communication application. Now let's see how the actor communication is described. In ACA, when an actor receives a message from another actor, it also receives the sender variable. This is a variable to make reference to the invoking actor. We use the sender variable to return messages to the invoker actor. In this context, sender is a reserved word, so use it properly. In our code, we have modeled four messages. These objects are type cases. These four objects are the cases. Now the transmission test is the main app. The first line creates the actor system and calls it transmission system. So this line creates the transmission system. 
Then this code will create a receiver actor, and the reference is loaded into the VAL receiver. We created a transmitter actor. In the constructor, it receives a reference to its receiver, already built. We used this to demonstrate how actors could be related to each other. We could define the constructor with no arguments, but we want to explain the concept. Next, we send the transmitter a start message. When the transmitter receives a message, we begin the transmission until the count is greater than or equal to the messages. We exchange messages between the transmitter and the receiver until we stop the context. The context object is available to all the other actors in the actor system. It is used so the actors can stop each other. It is important to recall that the receiver, transmitter and senders are actor references, not actor instances. An actor must be accessed only through its reference, never directly. The secret behind the actor reference is that when you have high concurrent environments, accessing actor instances directly could be an unsafe environment. Accessing and sending messages through actor ref warrants all the ACID needed. Let's run the app and check the output. We will clear the console and then run the transmission test. This is the output where we can see the transmitter class. It receives the messages until the count is greater than or equal to the messages. So we exchange the messages between the transmitter and the receiver until we stop the context. Here you can see that the receiver is stopped as the count is greater than or equal to messages. This was all about actor communications. Moving on to Carter 23, Actor Life Cycle. Here we have a brief description of the ACA Actor Life Cycle methods. These are the lines of code we need in this app. Constructor. This is called when an instance of the class is created, same as in Java. Pre start. This is called immediately after the actor is started. Post stop. This is called immediately after the actor is stopped, usually for the cleanup work. Pre restart. This is called immediately after the actor is restarted. Usually, a restart is caused by an exception. The pre restart receives as parameters a throwable and a message, and the old object receives these parameters. Post restart. This is called immediately after the actor is restarted. Usually, a restart caused by an exception. The post restart receives as a parameter a throwable, the new object receives this parameter and calls the pre start method. Within ancient console video games, there exists a character called Bob Om, a walking time bomb. In this code snippet, we exploit Bob Om to explain the life cycle methods. So we have covered all the methods that is, pre start, post stop, pre restart, post restart. It's time to run the code. Select the life cycle demo file and click on Run. Great! You can see the output and trace the program line by line and understand the life cycle wisely. This was all about life cycle. In this video, we have learnt about actor model in a nutshell. Awesome!